What's up guys, this is Tyler from Candlelit Crime Scene here with another tutorial. Today we'll be talking about how to take your project and exporting it out as a .mp3 and then bringing it back in. Okay, we'll begin right now. You'll see the project I've already created. It is fairly simple, easy to follow. All it is is a lead in and it goes out to the rest of the melody. I'll play that for you really quick. There you go, and it just continues with, with that same pattern. Okay, so what we're going to do is take our project and then go over to File, left click, go down to where it says the word Export, and scroll down where it says MP3 File, or you can push Shift Control R. Now that we're in our folder, we need to find the place that you want to save it to. I usually save to desktop, or you can create a projects folder or a folder that contains on your music. Either way, we're going to save it out. I'll just call mine Music. And it'll automatically save it to a .mp3. Once you save out and click start, it will not erase anything that's going on back here, so you can continue working in your project and go ahead and do it like this. Okay, now that I have the project saved out, we're actually going to go ahead and close FL Studio so you can see what it's like to bring it back in using the demo version. Bam, you can see it's the demo version. Alright, I'm going to go back into FL Studio. I'm using FL Studio 10, but it will be the same outcome either way. As you can see, this is the demo version. Go ahead and click Continue. Now, in order to get that track back in here, all I'm simply going to do is go up here to where you see the little scissors icon. Left click on that, and then we're going to go down here to Load. If you see the word Load Sample. So left click that, and mine was located on my desktop. Yours, whichever folder you had it in, I'm just going to left click on music and open. It's going to bring in the file that I just created in the project you saw before. So next we need to highlight the entire thing. So all you do is hold left click down, drag to the left to get that section, and then hold left click down somewhere on the right side of what you just created and drag over to the other section. Now that we have the entire thing highlighted in red, simply go up here to where it says it looks like a little arrow with a folded paper. It's the drag and copy the sample. Left click on that hold it down you'll see it drags it over with you and bring it into track one there you have the exact same song we just created I'll play it for you right now now this example was a very simple project that I created the more complex your projects become however the harder it is to find all your different patterns that you created and added in unless you break them up and put them on separate channels and copy each individual pattern out as a .mp3 for this example though all I have is my lead in and then the rest of it is the same which is my melody so if I wanted to edit it I can simply go up here to where I have the slice tool it looks like a little box cutter left click on that so you know it's selected and simply left click anywhere and drag up you'll see here that it cuts it and you can move this around if I knew my last project's melody was four bars long, all I simply have to do is measure that out. And you'll see here are the four bars. Go up here to your slice tool once again, left click to select it, drag and cut up. Now we have our melody isolated. Go back to the little paintbrush tool or the select tool and simply click and you can do whatever you want. You can add more patterns to it below or continue positioning it wherever you want. And there you have it. That's how you export a file as a .mp3 and then bring it back in to continue working on it in a limited way using FL Studio Demo. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.